Hello and welcome. So in the new case, we are going to discuss two points simultaneously. One is to construct a probability distribution of a given case or experiment and then to find the mathematical expectation or expected value from the probability distribution. The case is a box contains 12 items of which 3 are defectives. A sample of 3 items is selected from the box at random. Simultaneously 3 items are selected. If X represents the number of defective items in the 3 selected items, describe the random variable X completely and obtain its expectation. There are 12 items in the box, 3 are defective and remaining 9 are non-defective. 3 items are selected, X represents the number of defective items in the 3 selected items. Now, if 3 items are selected, how many defectives are possible? First of all, no defective is selected. So, random variable X takes value 0, no defective item is selected. Then one defective item is selected, that means one defective and two non-defective items are selected. So, the random variable X takes value 1 because X represents the number of defective items selected. Two defective items are selected, that means two defective and one non-defective items are selected. So, random variable X takes value 2. And the last possible outcome is all the three defective items are selected. Because there are three defective items and we are also going to select three items out of 12. So all the three are defective items. That means three defective and no non-defective item is selected. So this is the description of the random variable X. That means X can take value four, four possible values 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now let us first of all calculate probability of all these four possible mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes. No defective is selected. The probability will be no defective that means none out of three and th all three out of nine. 9C3 divided by 12C3. 9C3, if we simplify 9C3, what will happen? 9 factorial upon 3 factorial into 6 factorial. That will be 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial upon 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 and 6 factorial. That can be cancelled. 3 can be cancelled against 9, 2 against 4, 3 into 4 into 7. That comes to 84. 84 and similarly 12C3 will be 12 factorial upon 3 factorial into 12 minus 3, 9 factorial. So 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 factorial upon 3 into 2 into 1 and 9 factorial that is cancelled. 3 can be cancelled against 12 and 2 can be cancelled against 10, 220. So, the probability comes to 84 upon 220. Now, another possible outcome is 1 defective. So, 1 out of 3 and 2 out of 9. 1 out of 3 and 2 out of 9. 1 out of 3, 3C1 three is 3. 1 out of 3 and 9C2, 9 into 8 upon 2, that is 36, 220. So probability comes to 108 by 220. Now two defectives are selected. Probability of X equals to 2 will be two defectives, that means 2 out of 3 and 1 out of 9. That will be 3 into 9 upon 220. That is 27 upon 220. And the last possibility is all the three items selected are defective. So probability of X equals to 3 comes to 3, all 3 out of 3 and none out of 9. 
that is 1 upon 220. Now we know that x can take 4 values 0, 1, 2 and 3. The respective probabilities are 84 by 220, 108 by 220, 27 by 220 and 1 by 220 and we can verify the summation it comes to 220 by 220. That is just verification. Every time you need or we need to verify the total so that we can find if any error if there is x into p of x. 0 into anything remains 0. 1 into 108 is 108. So it is 108 by 220. 2 into 27 that is 54 by 220. And 3 into 1 is 3 upon 220. So it comes to 165 upon 220. This is sigma x into p of x. We know it by expected value or expectation of the random variable. So the mathematical expectation or expected value is 165 upon 220. 55 is the common factor. So it is 3 by 4 